Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BB Guru. Today we're going to be looking at uh, loading in the loading screen, fading in and out. We're using the widget animations. Um, so for example, if I press N, I've set it up to N because it won't work with the sleeping tutorial um, side of things. I need to fix that. But it will fade in, sleeping night, and it will fade out. <clears throat> so how we do that? let's look at our loading screen so all i've done um we'll come to that bit in a moment is i've created an animation fade in fade out i'll create a new one i'll just call it fade in two or fade in one whatever you want to call it uh, fade it in uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to track uh the three individual uh items on our loading screen so one being the image second one being the text skip night and the third one being the throbber uh, we then want to pick the individual thing we want to track so for example we want to for the image we want to track mainly the opacity so color and opacity we want to tra track the visibility of our uh, text skip night and the visibility of our throbber then we want to go to about a second and we want to add in a keyframe, which is this little plus section here. It's quite hard to see, but there's like a little plus symbol there, which we can tick for all three of those. Uh, and then we want to go back to zero and we want to set everything to zero. So set the opacity, which is A, to zero. For the visibility, we want it to be hidden for both of these as well. For the um, to at the bottom, I want them to come in. I don't want them to come right in at the end. I want them to kind of come in a little bit before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, a new keyframe for both of these at about 0 0.8 and set them back to visible, like so. Um, what we then want to do is just test that it works. So just go to drag it. Oh, don't move that though. Ooh, don't move that. Move this down a little bit. Go back to the animation and we can just test this by uh, moving the slider. So just make sure there's nothing there at zero. And then as we get to one, it should all come back into view. Uh, for the uh, fade out, it's actually just the same sort of thing, but it's just backwards. So set it up exactly the same way, but we want this to be, uh, oh, I've named these backwards, my apologies. So fade in is actually my fade out. <laughs> That's so bad. My apologies. Um, let's rename this so it's not, um, we'll call this fade out one. So it kind of coincides and we'll just delete this one out. Delete that one out. So we've got a fade out. <laughs> it's all correct now. So it should start at zero. I don't know why this one's not, but at zero, we have one for our opacity and we have our visibility set to visible. And as it begins to fade out, we want to remove the text skip line and the throbber from visual and then have it so that the screen goes uh, completely gone by one. Um, now to play this, what we want to do is, um, now that we have our animations, let's go into the graph. We want to get two play animation um, using widgets plug in fade out now this is obviously going to be incorrect now so let's delete those uh, we want fade in one to be there and we want fade out one to go in there and we want a three second delay in between the three second delay is how long that sleeping um, window will be open for before it refades out so let's compile and then in my third person character for me I've just done n create loading screen and add to viewport the reason for the persistent level fail is that because when this is called, it's um, it's reloading the animation, it's removing the parent, and I'm not sure where it's removing it from, so I haven't been able to figure out why it's disappearing. And I, I for the life of me, I'm not sure where it's being called from. Maybe in here, actually. Um, nope, don't know. Really, really, really bizarre. I'm not sure where it's running from. 
but it's running from somewhere where the animation is just stopping as the level reload, like the level transitions. And I'm not sure, as I said, where it's calling it from, um, but it's obviously removing the widgets and recreating the player HUD. So I need to do a little bit more testing behind that. Um, but hopefully I'll put it in like a, a future video where we work it out what's happening here. Um, it could just be that I'm setting this is nighttime too soon. It might be that I need to run the delay in the bed and then call that is nighttime function in here instead. Um, but I haven't got that far um, and I'm guessing that may be what's causing it. I'm not sure, but let's test out anyway. Uh, press play. Um, press the play oh press the play button is it gonna run there we go and then if you press N it fades in the widget plays for three seconds and then fades back out and that's um, fading in and out widgets in a nutshell you can do this for menus and just little messages and you can play around with the animation styles as well it doesn't have to be so much where um, it fades in and out you can also have it location wise so it like comes in off the side of the screen like bounces in there's all sorts of things you can do. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, apologies I didn't get actually set up to the skipping night. I'll work on that and hopefully do a little update video. But thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.